What's poppin' all right, fam? All right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hit that like button before the video even start. Y'all the real all right, fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy Rallo. I, I ain't no rapper. Don't say rapper Rallo. Say that real lad nigga named Rallo. This man, man. That's who I am. Fuck nigga. Rollo took the IG to post all his mug shots. He reflected on his past. He said, I'm just happy I don't ever have to go back to this. I've been in prison all my fucking life. You should be proud of me. If you haven't noticed, Rollo switched up from last year. All last year, he put pressure on Rich Homie Corn and spoke on others. Let's take a look at why he switched up. Now, Rollo started getting crazy attention last year after he put out a video of him calling Rich Homie Corn about paying him $6,000 for a verse and Rich Homie Corn allegedly snatching him off the song. I just want him to know I ain't tripped about no six thousand. As you can see, we over two three hundred thousand in. I'm just gonna. After that, Rollo would get on the internet every day and put pressure on Rich Homer Corn. Ain't nothing but some shooters and killer with me, fuck nigga. Every yeah, nigga with me that shot some, or tried to kill well, some, or kill some, hey, well, and gon' kill more. Fuck nigga, don't play with this shit. Fuck you, fuck Rich I'm Corn, fuck your fans. Don't play with this shit. Your sister died. Your daddy died. Yeah. These niggas ain't gon' do shit. These niggas ain't fight shit. These niggas ain't talk about shit. I'm, 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 I'm fully ready. I hear man walking. We got went shopping and all that good shit. I uh, spent five, six thousand a mile. I don't want that motherfucking money back for no feature. I don't want no feature. I don't want shit from a nigga, man. You smell what I'm saying? I just want to dispose these pussy rappers. Let y'all know these niggas a hold. I promise you, these niggas ain't finna do me like they did. Now one of these rock niggas. The day they do that, I will go to motherfucking jail. <laughs> I do it like sinning behind my motherfucking respect. You dig what I'm saying? I'm a real street nigga. I don't give a fuck about y'all taking up for him. I don't give a fuck about none of that child. To my, to my, oh, I don't do him like that. Man, fuck that nigga. He a bitch. Fuck whoever y'all talking about. I don't give a fuck about none of his fans. Y'all, y'all are fans. Y'all are groupies. Y'all don't know shit about these niggas. These niggas be straight up hoes. These niggas be some bitches. They ain't gonna do shit. And y'all, y'all just be fans. How y'all, y'all respect the police? Y'all respect the victim. I respect the shooter. Now the beef gave Rollo crazy attention. So much attention that he did an interview with Vlad. So he told um Elliot, our jeweler, like, even if Rollo don't fuck with me, I fuck with him. He a real gangster. He deserves everything he got. And he kind of like stole my heart. So at that moment, I call everybody. I tell everybody, put guns down on your thug. You know what I'm saying? Because it was almost places that he couldn't go in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? We were going to get him. Say Cheese TV. The thing that I'm more so like, not agreeing with, like, allowing people to get him on camera, get in the same back. Like, I'm just not cool with him allowing people to record him getting shot, he's just shot in the back. Like, I feel like if I sent you, to get my chain back. Like, don't embarrass me to the world. Like, don't embarrass me to the world. That ain't love. That ain't no real nigga shit. Like, that more so some publicity type shit. You smell me? Like, that shit ain't cool, bro. Like, that shit ain't no real nigga shit. Like, this your partner. Like, I know for a fact Shaq Lizzie will vouch for black youngster. 
Like, should I give a fuck to a black youngster? You know what I'm saying? They probably still fuck around. I ain't gonna get into their brat beef or nothing. But by me being a real nigga who I am, Respect to Vlad and Say Cheese TV. Make sure y'all go subscribe to their channel. Now, the last interview with Say Cheese TV is the reason why Rollo switched up. He told his story in both interviews, but he noticed the headlines the masses took interest in was a headline with him connected to another artist. Whether it was Rich Homie Kwan, Black Youngster, Shy Glizzy, he started to think to himself, man, I'm doing all these interviews, but the main thing going out is me speaking on somebody else or somebody else getting a headline. I'm boosting their stuff more than I'm boosting myself. So he made a change for himself that day. He said, I'm going to start on the speaking on myself. Written my brother future 2017. I'm changing lives starting with mine. Please don't ask me about no motherfucking dog food. I ain't doing no more interviews about none of these rap niggas. Fuck them. I told you everything I could tell you. I'm going to forever motivate all the real ones. I'm going to help y'all with anything I can help y'all with. I'm here to do it. I'm trying to get a billion dollars out of this shit. That's when you notice Rollo started to change. He started to visit some of his fans more. I'm gonna go up to this little girl's school. She said I'm her favorite rapper. I don't know her name. About her gift though. Just cause she said I'm her favorite rapper, I'm gonna go up to her school and surprise her for her birthday. Found cool. He even tried to squash the rich homie corn beef in a positive way. Hey, Rick. Yeah. We might challenge your arm. Now he's still coming at Rich Homer Corn sometimes every now and then, just like Rich Homer Corn posted some money the other day and he said, That's it, nigga. But it's nothing like last year. Anyway, comment down below. What do you think about the whole situation? I think it's a good thing that he changed. And take a look at X, Bobby Schmurda, and Tech Stone right now. I'm sure those guys wish they can go back in the hands of time and make the proper changes at the right moment so they wouldn't be in the position they're in today. Think about it. Those guys can't even enjoy the fan base they built. Also, they can't be out doing what they love to do and supporting their family. Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. Sub to the channel. If you haven't, press that sub button. Also, press that bell beside it so you get a notification anytime I drop a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG at RelatableUpBall. Expect multiple uploads tomorrow. Salute to y'all. We're on that 100K grind. Upball. Gone.